Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about this a new event, okay, an eerie invitation. So I will talk about a little bit about the farming strategy, okay? But really you should farm on the elite if you don't able to farm on the legendary difficulty. Okay, so basically the event the event is kinda easy because you only fight single enemy on every turn, okay? So I'm gonna pick uh yeah i'm gonna pick this okay demon rain because there's only single enemy you can use your physical chainer okay so i use uh Hyo and regan so let's begin okay actually this is not a tips just more like a simple run an example on how i do the run okay and yeah it is pretty easy okay you can simply use on the beginning of the turn simply use uh flame blade depends on your your strength okay because it's enough see or you if you have to illusionist nickel okay i believe you can use uh with hike magic you can use his Pantasmal Force. You can chain them together because it is quite powerful, but actually it is not maybe. But maybe this is because my Illusionist Nicol has low magic. Okay, but yeah, you get the idea. You can use two Illusionist Nicol and one chainer, one finisher to finish the battle. It is very easy because there's only one enemy on every wave. See? Not hard, okay? But again, you may have a little bit problem gathering points on this event because the 4 stars base only gives you 50% bonus point and yeah, from what I read on your comment on my pull video, yeah, it seems there is no boost rate for the 3 and 4 stars base Halloween character so it may be hard to gather the items. The points I mean okay so finally the last battle on the last battle you can unleash your true power with an Esper so I will try to put my Esper Seven of the Blade, Seven of the Blade and Blade of Azure Crimson so Diamond Dust so basically if you if let's say you use six stars max character okay like Regan then I believe two 1000 attack Divine Ruination Chainer are enough simply gear up your any of your mm, any of your bonus character with Evo Magic Plus and Evo Curse Horn basically a gear to to boost your Evo damage I believe they they will be able you will be able to one shot this okay Okay, so yep, not that hard. Again, farm on the elite because the rewards is same, but on legendary the bonus monsters will appear more frequently and yes that's good and make the or points gathering much much easier. Now let's talk about the shopping guide, okay? vampire lord with an esper so it seems that next week we will fight the vampire lord i hope he give us the same challenge okay like the hasiko trial that's battle that battle is really interesting i hope they make a battle where we cannot chase the battle with tornado chain okay so the previous week malboro is was kind of underwhelming in my opinion very very easy to chase I know that some of you complain that I use 7 stars, not budget, but really even if I use Shan 2 Shan Toto as long as I land a finisher and that's it, that will be finished for the Marlboro. So no 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 not this one. Okay. Empty magic flash coupon. This one. So the first item we see here is Old King's Apocryphal. So this gives you 
20% on all stats except health and MP. And yes, this is pretty, this is pretty good, especially for hybrid character or evoker who rely on two stats or more. Okay, so yeah, like you can see here, minus 15% on all elemental resist. But I don't see it as a problem because let's say if you put it on your attackers because this is what the accessory for then they shouldn't get attacked okay because you should have aoe magic tank or aoe physical tank protecting them and provoker so i don't think it is that important especially because it is only minus 15 percent so maybe it is not that dangerous basically i recommend you to buy this especially yeah they have increased the limit cap to 400 percent after the last update so, so this means for most players including me it is better to equip to percentage increase our percentage increase compared to row increase at this moment okay so because 20 percent for seven stars character mean let's say seven stars character have about 200 200 without potion so 40 attack increase so unless you have an accessory like dash earring then this 20 percent worth more than row increase unless of course you use dual wheel uh, double hand setup that way you need you still need row increase basically they increase the limit cap to buff a dual wielder a little bit okay so the next item fin this smile so this is an accessory and i think this is just ordinary okay but if you have lucius then this has become really good because this fin this smile will give you 20 percent attack so 20 percent attack plus 20 attack this probably one of the best accessory for lucius so I don't recommend you to buy this unless of course you have Lucius on your party because this will make him quite strong. Same for Succubus that cell. So this is like shield, definitely not the best shield for your tank. But again, if you have Lilith and use her as a tanker, then this one is pretty good because this Succubus that cell give you 10% efficient. Yeah, that yeah 10 percent evasion for physical and magical attack so that's pretty dope especially for magical attack because yeah it is hard to find something that increase your magical evasion so buy this if you have lilith and the next is seductress armor again this one may be good for a female tanker but right now the notable female tanker is only lilith okay so Awakened Rain cannot equip this. Yeah, basically, yeah, you don't need this if you don't have Lilith. So, yeah, these three items are not your priority unless you have a hero for them. Next is Bad Hair Band. Like it names, it is bad. Okay, so I don't recommend you to buy it. It is 3000. Yeah, cheap, but you probably won't use this and who needs mp maybe maybe if you haven't beat irinias or something no no not something i mean if you haven't beat irinias or the hard trial then maybe this hairband will help you to bait her stop attack but if you already have it then no need i guess this malicious aura boost health defense spirit by six percent oh my god this is bad okay unless you are total newbie you don't need this at all so it is all up to you though i won't buy it and yeah finally like usual they give us one trust master on every event and right now mm, it's not gungnir or magistab it is fucking mp plus 30 percent what they want from us gumi really why you give us this okay where's our Arsia talisman where is it where is our 20-sided dice why you choose to give us a rubbish like this is beyond my thinking okay i don't say mp plus 30 percent is bad it is good especially again for your support or on a battle where the enemy target 
your character with highest MP but really guys you know what the continuation okay uh, it is up to you whether to buy this or not and next finally five star select summon ticket you must buy this there's no reason not to buy this one because like you can see the price is very cheap 1000 they are really being generous to us right now okay but because I know if if they make it 150,000 the community will be angry because there are two 150,000 items so this is the reason so don't get your hopes too high hoping that oh my god starting from the next event Gumi will make the 5 star select summon ticket into 1000 that's possible but I think it is only applied at this time okay but I hope they really applied it next time and yeah the rest is like usual buy the four stars guaranteed ticket because you need them three the three of them and rare summon ticket buy yeah you can buy ten of them buy the seven first and the rest three later if you still have times to buy it because the it is very expensive six thousand okay the most important thing on this banner I mean the item the tickets on this event is this Halloween 2018 summon ticket why these tickets are important like I have said on the beginning we yeah you know, it seems that we don't get increased rate for three and four stars base characters so this ticket seven tickets are your hopes if you don't have three or four stars Halloween ticket because from the picture it seems that we get increased rate from this tickets okay let's buy it but yeah I don't get any bonus Halloween unit from using those tickets okay and yeah don't buy this 80,000 like you know blast bow I know blast bow it is quite cheap 8,000 8, but blast bow who gonna use that okay so I don't think it you should buy this it is not your priority Jake's pirate ring it is very good same for magical top hat so buy this just Mughal. same with cat hat and yeah of course for the very cheap trust Mughal, we get Excalibur don't ask me okay you definitely need to buy this because yeah Excalibur is Excalibur for machine gun plus I don't think you need that but it's all to you same for trust Mughal. always buy this and yeah my king metal mini tour and yeah the rest of the things like six stars awakening material buy them as if you need them okay for giant grace don't buy them okay like we know that right now we already have bonus stage running so instead of farming on the halloween event it's better to farm on the bonus stage of the of the cg citra story event say for pure chris i don't need i don't think you need a lot of them okay so buy them as you need so i think that's all you need to know about this king mog eerie event okay so i hope you are getting lucky and this is useful for you thank you very much for watching press hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave xps guide bye bye guys